I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 316, where I'm going to show you how to export to that lesser program, also known as Excel, from cloud. And how you do this is by managing permissions. Came across this one the other day at my day job. We have a, an awesome model. It is uh, something we use for marketing forecasting, and we have actually about 20 users uh, with different profiles in this model and I can show those to you here if I go up here to my uh, tools security and I look at managing roles you can see here that I have quite a few uh, managers or quite a few users in this model that have access to various aspects of it it's really locked and dialed in well unfortunately or I guess fortunately some of these users want to use that lesser program also known as Excel uh, to you know, maybe export some of their data just because they're not quite Quantrix masters yet. And I respect that. I really hope that one day they will be Quantrix masters, but I realize that, you know, working, working a Quantrix model isn't necessarily their, their forte, whereas, you know, uh, making uh, excellent products and making and marketing them is. So I'll give that to them. But uh, what they're coming across is they, they were logging into the model here on Quantrix Cloud. The users all have permissions to go ahead and uh, access certain parts of their model and I, I've given them all uh, passcodes to get there and then what happens is uh, they have a bunch of information here where they go in and they put in their detail but some of them again they want to export so to that lesser program also known as Excel so actually in Quantrix Modeler in the cloud there is an oper there is an option up here to export and that's been grayed out for them so how did I get it so they could export so that this was a viable option to them. I will show you. So I went over here into uh, into the uh, desktop modeler itself and I went to tools, security, and permissions. And then again you can see the list of users here and I would select whatever user needed this access to be able to export from cloud to that lesser program also known as Excel. And I click on edit structure and right here is this option to enable export. So again, I would select whatever user there was that needed this access, and then I would make sure that enable export was given to them. And again, if you don't want them to have permission to export, you can go ahead and uncheck that and then go ahead and check it back into the cloud. I will say that uh, cloud is very robust in its permissions. I would say you can do about everything uh, with permissions. Uh, up on the cloud that you can do here in desktop. It's uh, it's truly remarkable what we've been able to do with cloud and uh, with permissions. So, you know, it took me a little bit to find this option of enabling export. So I wanted to make sure that I made it aware to the wider community so you don't have to spend the time that I spent. And if you have any questions about Quantrix or if you have any questions about cloud and how it's used, I do really hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantripsAuthority at gmail.com and ask me those questions because, you know, it makes my day every day to use Quantrix. And what even makes my day even more is when somebody sends me an email at QuantripsAuthority at gmail.com and asks me a question because I really want to make you a Quantrix master. I really think the world should run on Quantrix. So I hope that you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. <music> Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.